Welcome to Grayon Mac. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a rectangle and inside this rectangle are uh, two triangles, the yellow and the green, which has an area of six uh, square units and uh, 19 square units respectively. And uh, another triangle is uh, formed outside, which is the red, which is uh, via the segment AE passing through F as one of its uh, side and the base of this rectangle and the segment uh, through EB which passes through G and incidentally there is a blue region uh, that is inside uh, this rectangle and a part of the triangle E B, A, uh, and we have to find that uh, uh, blue region, the area. Okay, so our idea for this problem is that uh, since we have here a triangle F, E, G, which is the four square, uh, four square unit uh, triangle, red triangle, as you can see, it is actually similar to the triangle AEB and our idea is uh, we need to uh, uh, this concentrate on this side let's call this as B1 and we compare it with this uh, side by uh, similarity of triangles and by doing so we can actually get the area of the uh, blue because this triangle feg and uh, aeb are actually uh, similar okay so but before that uh, we need to actually uh, draw a line i mean we need just to copy this uh, yellow uh, triangle on the left so if we draw this a line from this okay, and the horizontal line so this also will be six square units okay so next that we have already copied this uh, yellow triangle from the left to the right and uh, i want you to notice this angle at g so this angle at G are actually uh, vertical angles and therefore they are uh, congruent and uh, uh, this angle here this yellow is since we are just we have just copied this so they are actually uh, congruent and notice this uh, green and the yellow a green a yellow and the red these four uh, at angle F so these are actually congruent and as you can see uh, this angle at uh, F and G of the red to the angle G and H at the combination of the green and the yellow they are actually congruent and if two angles of these uh, two triangles are actually congruent then uh, these two uh, triangles are actually similar and that is actually the angle angle or AA similarity theorem so it states that if two triangles of uh, if two triangles of one triangle are congruent to the two angles of the second triangle then the two triangles are similar so we have proved that uh, these uh, uh, two triangles, the combination of the yellow and the green and the red, have actually uh, have, are actually similar. So uh, with that, we can actually use the area scale factor. Okay, so for the area scale factor, uh, we can actually say that if we have this uh, for W, I mean the red. So we have here 4 
over the area of the combination of the green and the yellow we have uh, 19 plus 6 so let's write 19 plus 6 is equal to uh, this is b1 this uh, length earlier we have let this as b1 and let, we have let this uh, gh we let this gh as uh, b2 okay so b2 so for uh, 4 we have b1 over b2 squared so we have here uh, 4 can be written as 2 squared and this is uh, 25 so 19 plus 6 so but 25 can be written as a 5 squared okay is equal to b1 over b2 over b2 uh, square and if we take the square root of both sides we have here uh, b1 b1 over b2 is equal to 2 over 5 okay so if we tweak this uh, b1 over b2 uh, equals 2 5 2 over 5 then b2 if we cross multiply b2 is equal to 5 uh, over 2 times b1 so we can actually replace this uh, uh, b2 this b2 here to be this we erase that so b2 is uh, 5 over 2 times b1 so 5 over 2 times b1 Okay, so as I have said earlier, we will be comparing the bases of the red triangle and the combination of the red and the blue. So for the red, the base, we call this as B1. And for uh, B, the base of the blue, we or AB, we can call that as a B3. And notice that uh, the length of b3 is equal to b1 plus b2 okay so b3 is equal to b1 plus b2 since we have already formed a parallelogram uh, which is uh, the the blue the green and the copy of the yellow on the right so that is uh, this is uh, the b3 is equal to b1 plus b2 and b3 is equal to b1 let's just copy b1 plus b2 is equal to 5 halves of uh, b1 and simplifying getting the lcd we have here the 2 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 1 that is 2 b1 plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 5 so 5b1 is equal to b3 okay so simplifying we have b3 is equal to 7 over 2 b1 okay so now for the final step is uh, we need to focus on the red triangle and the combination of the uh, blue and the red okay so notice that the uh, uh, this uh, combination of the red and the blue is similar to the uh, similar to this red so because as you can see uh, this uh, angle at B is uh, congruent with this angle at G because uh, they are actually alternate uh, alternate uh, exterior or interior exterior angles while so the angle at f uh, they are from the if you uh, focus on ae and we just draw a uh, i mean for, because it is a they form an angle with this uh, parallel lengths of the rectangle 
So this is ang congruent with the, the angle at F. So therefore, these two triangles are actually uh, similar. And this angle at E is their common angle. Okay, so if they are similar, we can use again the area scale factor. Since we are comparing the red and the combination of the red and the blue, uh, we focus on the combination of the red and the blue. And let's call the area of uh, the blue to be uh, capital, capital B. Okay, so the area for the uh, blue plus uh, red is B plus 4 over the area of the red, which is 4. It's equal to the ratio of the uh, length squared. So that is uh, for the red i mean the combination of the red and the blue which is corresponding to b plus four that is uh, b3 and for the four it is b1 squared but earlier we got that b3 is equal to seven over two b1 Okay, and we just copy B1, square this, and we can just simply cancel this B1 and B1, and we simplify this, we have 49 over 4. Okay, and we just copy the left-hand side, B plus 4 over 4, and we can cancel the 4 on the denominator. And we can put this positive 4 to the right hand side and it becomes negative 4. So b is equal to 49 minus 4. And b is equal to 49 minus 4, that will be 45 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you liked our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.